So it is Saturday. Today is the day that we attack the ceiling and paint it because it looks it looks bad. So first stop, Home Depot. All right, we are heading over to Lowe's. Um, so we're definitely gonna get paint, some like white paint for the ceiling, and then probably just some random odds and ends. Come on, come on, go. We're getting some paint. Basically, just need white. Oh, this is pretty cool. It's a porch um, concrete stain or paint so you can make it dark gray because ours is like ugly shades of red we also have this pretty cute like retro mailbox that's all rusted and kind of ugly looking so we want to put a coat of paint on that and a coat of paint on the front door that matte that so we need to pick a color we've got a little cart going teddy is now here we've got our bright white paint i've never made it this deep into a hardware store. I never realized there were like mailboxes. Yep. We're gonna get these kind of numbers. They look modern. But we're not gonna let you know what the numbers are. Yeah, no. Okay, so we're going to like every hardware store in town to get the right size ladder. Okay, so this Ace Hardware actually has like really good outdoor furniture. They have a day bed here. Those chairs are nice. Kind of basic table, but this would look good. All right, made it to the house. So, I'm gonna eat this real quick so I have some energy. Cover all the furniture here. We're gonna slightly sand this is because the beam is kind of rough to the field. Yeah. Plus the whole ceiling is. So we're gonna sand, sand it, it and then paint it. I'll show you what he means by this weird texture. It's kind of like dried out feeling, like it almost feels like salty. <laughs> so, ooh, cool. You can see a palm tree over here when you're up here. But yeah. How long do you think it will take to sand? Oh my God, that is going to be a big question. Okay, so I'm gonna try and sand it by hand over here. And he's going with like a power tool. down that light walk over here we have sanded quite a bit and now my dad is trying to take out the cabinets on that wall and then we're gonna start just like knocking it out it's kind of tricky getting those cabinets out so these beams are sanded oh let's try oh, are they all attached Okay, cabinet number one is out. Yeah. Okay, so my dad said to Monica and I, hey, should we take that wall down now? And we both were like, yes, let's get rid of that. I know this might seem kind of crazy to just go for, but um, my dad actually has kind of flipped some houses just like houses that he used to live in before selling them, he would just make some upgrades. So he, he actually knows how to do this stuff. We weren't just like randomly like taking a sledgehammer at it. So just a little context, like don't try this at home kind of thing, unless you know what you're doing. Cause I certainly don't know. I was just trying to help, but um, it looks so much better already with this wall gone. We do want to take the rest of the wall out, but it has more like electrical components to it. So we're kind of waiting on that, but so great to have this bit of the wall out. Okay, we're taking out this last little part here. Then it will feel much more open. But All I'll do is keep it from tearing, you know? Dang, I didn't think we were gonna do all this today, but I am excited about it. Major progress over here. You can now kind of see the ceiling fan and the kitchen poking out. And that little chunk right there is also gonna go. I mean, we're basically ready to put it on Airbnb. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Okay, so here's where we're at for today. This little thing's obviously gonna come down and then eventually we're gonna move all this, but there's electrical wiring in it. So we're gonna have like a professional do it. <laughs> but it is so nice to have this 
this at the very least opened up for now. I love it. You get a lot more light coming in. Um, yeah, the whole place even feels a little bigger, so. Yeah. Great, great yeah, work, everyone. Okay, feeling good about the progress today. Definitely good to see that um, area more opened up. I feel dusty, I need to take a shower. Demolition is tiring. Cheers to our first demolition day. I feel good about that. Makes you realize, okay, this can happen. Yeah, sure. I'm not gonna lie, last night when I was going to sleep, I was like, what did we buy? Just going around the house and seeing yeah. every the fridge not working, all these random little things. I was like, God. Oh, I'm hearing somebody talk about the pool. Yeah, the guy, um, the construction guy said that moving that pool equipment would cost like $35,000 or something. I was like, what? All right, just spent the morning editing a vlog because I hadn't uploaded one and was getting really behind on the footage, but we're heading over to the house now. I feel like we have a good handle on like what to get to work on. All right, I dropped Monica off at the house, but I'm going into Target to get some essential things that we need. Pretty nice Target out here in the desert. All right, so I need a frying pan. We need shirts to paint in. My dad loves this show, so. Got that. Saucepan. Trying to find a cool plate, but I don't really love any of these. The black is cool, but not, not really for this house. Oh God, that's heavy. Okay, got a bunch of stuff for the kitchen. <laughs> oh. Oh, I don't. I would not get paid on that. Okay, we'll keep that one. Here's yours, Monica. <laughs> oh, no, oh, I don't want to get paint on this either. So here's some of what I got at Target: some silverware, potato masher thing for the HelloFresh, outdoor plates to put them on, ceramic pans, some bowls. This is just what it said it needed to like make it. I ordered some stuff from Amazon too. A first aid kit. A 24 PC utensil set. A hazard of the job. Oh, go. Ooh. Hey. Great. Well, we have a first aid kit now if you need. Awesome. A band aid. I could use a band aid for you. Um, oh, another twin size sheet set because we got two twin size beds. That's what I mean. And oh. more garbage yeah. bags. Just got this on Amazon. I guess that's what you. What the heck? It says pizza on it. <laughs> Oliver. All right, the white paint is going on the wood. But yeah, I think the white's gonna look good. Real clean look. All right, I got my painting outfit on, but I'm actually gonna make food. It is such a clear day out. You can see the mountains so well today. Like this is the clearest I've been able to see the mountains from this house so far. Well, you can just see the mountains so well. They look great. So this palm tree here, I think, we take that out, you'll get such a better view. Okay, so we've got a couple of HelloFresh meals. I wanna try the cheesy smothered chicken. So I'm gonna do that. Nice thing about HelloFresh is they give you the exact amount that you need and not anything extra. So you don't have like, ra like one more random carrot. So, and the fact that they give you everything you need considering we have nothing right now. I know. They got like even sour cream. Like I don't have that, so that's good. But so first things first, we need to wash, trim, cut all of the carrots, potatoes, all of that. HelloFresh is actually sponsoring this vlog, so very excited that they're the first meal that we're having in the house. Okay, so like I said, HelloFresh has pre-proportioned ingredients, so there's less prep and less wasted food. If you're not familiar with HelloFresh, it's a meal kit, so it cuts out all the planning and prepping, so you can just enjoy making the meal. And most of them take about 30 minutes or even 20 minutes with the quick and easy options. And you can add in extra dinners or lunches to your weekly order, or you can add meal compliments like the garlic bread okay and here it is how good does that look okay let's go give it to them guys i have been waiting so patiently for shelby to make this food as my dad and i take a break from painting i think we're done for the day actually here we this have is it life. wow this Beautiful. looks 
honestly from a restaurant. Doesn't it look good? Oh, let me get some sharper knives. Oh my god. Mmm. This is the first home cooked meal we've had in like a week. I know, I will say Shelby making this first meal, the second I started to smell food in the house, it actually started to feel like a home. I'm so excited yeah, to eat this, it looks so good. I really like these outdoor plates too. Oh, here you go. So this is the mushroom chicken. It's like cheesy mushroom chicken. And or, yeah, we have mashed potatoes, which has been my staple. There's a nice <laughs> sauce over it and um, some carrots that are roasted. Mm. So they have a deal for you guys if you want to try HelloFresh. They have a bunch of different recipes. I've made the pasta one before and the tacos. That's actually what I'm going to have tomorrow. I've had them before. They're so good. It gets me out of like a cooking rut of making the same basic things I know how to make. When I make a HelloFresh meal, I kind of learn something new and it tastes way better. Like that was like restaurant quality. So you guys can go to HelloFresh.com and use my code 80 Shelby Church to get $80 off five boxes. And that includes free shipping on your first box. If you guys do try it, let me know which recipes you like the best because I definitely want to get more. Okay, so we got the white paint up to here now. Cool, it's gonna need a second coat as you can see, but already looking quite a bit cleaner in here. Just looking at it here, it looks so splotchy and just kind of messy, you know? So I know a lot of people love keeping the wood, but this wood just had issues because we noticed that it had been painted before when we took down that beam. So we think the last sellers put some kind of stain to try and make it look better, but it, it kind of just looked salty. So we're going with the clean white look and I think that's gonna be good a good move. Okay, so our real estate agent popped by to see what we've done kind of got the kitchen clean dishwasher is actually pretty cool here we'll we'll want to keep that and this is where we're at for today me and monica are gonna come paint tomorrow our dad's gonna go he deserves it and yeah this is what we have done it's all sanded so the painting doesn't actually take that long is it it's sanded over there too right so, uh well i sanded that beam today but yeah oh, okay. the painting does not take long the prep takes forever yeah and the painting's fun you get to like really see how it looks cool good progress for today we're making quite a mess outside though pretty little sunset today definitely trying to go in the hot tub tonight my feet kind of hurt from standing. You might like it, it's uh, local. Oh, cool. We gotta send a photo in your Schitt's Creek shirt. Yeah. <laughs> to the family group chat. So great to come back to the oh, house. Boy, it's not destroyed. Oh, boy, rah. <laughs> <laughs> Made the decision to cancel the king bed that we had scheduled to arrive. I really liked it, but realistically, it's gonna be way too low and look awkward. So I canceled it. Might return the green one. I've been looking for other stuff. And I'm also looking at ordering a hot tub because we are gonna want that in the winter. Well, they're always like, that I've never been to Palm Springs or like maybe not in the winter or something are like, isn't it hot there? Why would you want a hot tub? And it's like... You just want it in the evening. You know, no matter where it is, it could be Hawaii, it could be any tropical place that's warm in the evening. Well, it gets it's cold. uncomfortable. It does. It gets cold at night. People the desert gets that. cold. And having a hot tub, it is so relaxing. I have the hot tub turned on here and we're gonna go in. It's nice. Like, it's a good hangout spot. I feel like there's something about hot tubs that you have the best conversations with people because everyone, like, gets off their phone. Have you noticed that? I think we want a six-person hot tub. We're just gonna do a plug-and-play hot tub for now. And then maybe, probably in, like, a year, we'll do an in-ground hot tub tub but we're spending a lot just on the house for now and then we'll spend more on the pool later but the gardener's coming by tomorrow oh cool so they have six person ones for like three thousand which for a hot tub is actually such a good price i feel like hot tubs used to be way more okay popping back into this vlog while i'm editing don't mind my ridiculous outfit <laughs> but i wanted to ask you guys if anyone watching has, has any experience with plug and play hot tubs they're basically hot tubs that you plug into a normal outlet i've seen some people online say that they're only good for warmer climates 
and at night here it gets about 45 degrees so i'm wondering if that would be too cold to do a plug and play hot tub um so yeah if anyone has one let me know what you think if we should get that or if it's a bad idea i want to because i think it would be a good like short term thing and then later on we'll do the full in ground thing but that's gonna take months probably so so i'd rather do this for now so let me know if any of you guys have any thoughts on that and i'll see you in the next vlog